Just some preliminary stuff before we do a pad stack design. On a typical board with two layers and one internal layer, you have the bottom part of your pad stack, which is your solder mask bottom. The solder mask bottom has to be there to ensure that solder mask is not put over the bottom layer pad. Just above this or closer to the actual pad, you've got the paste mask bottom. This creates an aperture of the paste mask size so that when you are squeegeeing or applying the solder paste onto the PC board, it will be applied in this area here onto the bottom layer pad. So your bottom layer pad is normally the same size as your paste mask bottom. Here's an internal layer which is connected via copper. Then you've got the opposite on the top layer. So you've got the top layer pad, the top layer paste mask, the solder mask top. And then what I've done here is just illustrate the drill bit because it's very important to understand that when your PCB is fabricated, the drill bit has a certain diameter. So there's the diameter of the drill bit. However, if we zoom in a little bit here, you can see that the hole is plated. So there's copper plating that the fabricator puts in. So you must make sure that your drill bit has got some tolerance. If I zoom in a little bit here, you'll see the space between the edge of the drill bit and the edge of the plating. That's the tolerance because your drill bit might wiggle a little bit and you don't want it to start while it's wiggling working away on the internal plating which would then create a lack of continuity between for example the top layer and the middle layer. It is critically important to pay attention to this image because I've had instances where I've measured a pin on a device and then what I've done is I've made the aperture for the drill the same size as the pin only to find that when the PCB was fabricated when they plated it the pin then wouldn't fit through the hole and then it's too late to do adjustments because you paid a lot of money to get your prototype board and then in my case, it was a 12 layer board, which we had to throw away because certain components wouldn't fit in the board. And you can't then drill it out again because then you drill out this copper plating. Another problem that we've had is that some of the fabricators are not very good at the accuracy of the copper plating. So it's called overplating, where this area here is too thick. And once again, you've got the same problem that your component won't fit through the hole. So please always allow for tolerances when you're designing your pad stack. Okay, so with that said, we will now move on to the actual AUCAD pad creator. In the previous video that I did, the error that I made is that I put on the begin layer a regular pad, a circle, and I gave it a size, let's say for example 30. It then showed this pad on the top, the circular pad, and then what I did is I then went to the next layer, the solder mask top, but I forgot to give it some geometry, so I left it as null and then made it 30 again and proceeded through the video without realizing that there was nothing here. So I saved the pad stack and then when the PCB is fabricated, every component with that pad has got no solder mask on it and it's got no paste mask. So because there was no solder mask, the actual pad itself, this pad, was covered with solder mask, which meant that I couldn't solder any components on and I had to sit and sand them off with water paper, which took hours.